This idiot went down the escalator. <laughs> Not just gonna come back up. <laughs> What's the weather like down there? to show us what he's got, the goods, in his briefcase. Snacks, baby. It's, I don't have a watch. It is like two? Yeah, it's like 2.20. 2.20, because you, your watch is five minutes past. So we've just gone to a little sock kitty um, panel preview. Um, there was a really nice um, elderly woman who knew a lot about Japanese dolls and how to make them and stuff and she was actually doing like an educational panel which was interesting and we caught like the tail end of that yeah, on to accident, but it was cool to, it was tail end um, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, we caught that and then she made these we made these cute little sock kitties out of Japanese socks with like the toes you know um, and he's got like a little bell on him and it was really cute because this lady she went to such an effort to like make everyone's everyone had a different sock and everyone had like a different ribbon so each cat was and there were different eye colors and everything so she tried really hard to make each cat unique and it was really cute and that was actually one of the better panels I've ever been to at a convention so. yeah usually we don't get into like the make your own stuff because it's so busy yeah especially at Oda and but, and even here, here, which is like a tiny con, um, she almost ran out of, she had two left for the, the rest of the whole convention. Yeah, for the rest of the weekend. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're going to check out the dealer's hall, which we haven't done yet. And then I think there were a few more panels today. Maybe there wasn't any more panels today. We're going to go to the formal ball soon, which is because it's already 2.20, which is crazy. And we're going to change around 5, get into Ruby stuff. Um, and leave all these beautiful men, these beautiful men behind in the dust. So we'll check in later. Hi. Hey. Hello. Welcome back. I am no longer Bakura, and this is no longer such okay. No, we are in different cosplays. Major transformation. We are both women for once, so <laughs> there's that. One of like the only four female cosplays I think I have, and this is 
wasn't even a full cinder cosplay, so. But anyway, we just went to the formal ball, which was small but really cute. I don't know, Megan's been to the actual ball at KatsuCon, so I, was better. I don't have anything to compare it to, but it was it was cute. Um, we could have done some stuff better, but overall, not a bad experience. I mean, the fire alarm and went everyone off. Everyone who talked so. to us was nice. Yeah, other than the fire alarm going off. So um, we had the flood at Oda, and then the fire alarm. The fire at alarm of Anim MA USA. USA, which was a false alarm, just in case you were worried about us. But then there was another false alarm. False alarm, and then, and then the they said alarm just was a false kidding, alarm. and the alarm actually went off, and then they said false alarm to the false alarm. Right? Yeah, so there was a lot of false alarms going off. So, yes. And, but several people have asked for our pictures. I was worried people like wouldn't recognize me because she's got the tiara and everything, but like I've just got like a black wig and a red dress. But they did, and the Ruby cosplayers especially were particularly nice. So shout out to them. Um, and we're ending our con uh, day one, kind of slowly one. now, taking a bunch of selfies because con life, guys. We take. Um, we are selfie queens. Haven't spent too much money so far, so that's always no, good. Not yet. But everything's I'm, smaller, so... I've got to leave this hotel before I leave glitter all over it. Um, I can't... Yeah, you can probably tell that my dress is, like, glittery. It is shiny, so... A glitter disaster. So I've been leaving a trail um, everywhere I go, so... So we're signing off for day one, and we'll see you tomorrow for Inuyasha cosplay. So, see ya! Bye! say when he uh does his glove thing wind tunnel wind tunnel that was <laughs> hey guys <laughs> um welcome to day two where i don't know what character i am and what his main power is even though he must say it like every episode for 300 episodes he does so yeah it's fine. funny story um we are moroku and sangro from inuyasha and i'm playing with my ring because it's fun this is Kilala. And this is Kilala, who turns into a big Kilala, but she's staying small for today. Um, and so far, we haven't really done anything today uh, besides shop. We shopped. We spent money. That's true. We did spend money. Um, not that much, so again, James isn't here, so we always spend less when James isn't here. Um, but I bought one thing, and Megan bought a few things because she didn't buy anything yesterday. And... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. What else? We've gotten a I'm few pictures today. Sorry. It's um, not as, I feel like not as many as yesterday, and people don't seem like as hype about Inuyasha as they do about it's Kaiba. Because I don't know why. Kaiba and Bakura. Because Inuyasha's not like a meme. You feel like a meme. <laughs> that's true. Shout out to little Karibo for making that whole series just like a golden meme. But... Yeah, all I hear whenever we're Yu Gi Oh cosplayers is little Karibo references. references. Yeah, yesterday someone on the escalator yelled at her. Um, Screw the rules. Screw the rules. I have money. money. Yeah. And so. then somebody walked up and said, Bakora. Bakora. You have to do it like with the not, open. I mean, yeah. try to do it. I'm having open. issues with my voice, if you can't tell. So. <laughs> I can't um, really do little Karibo voice right now. We can't. It's also snowing outside, it so is that snowing. is a con first. Um, also, Moroku and Sango wear sandals. Fun fact. Um, so we are so devoted that we wore sandals in the snow. Um, yeah, which a lot of people did not, which, I mean, I can't really blame them because who in their right mind wears sandals in the snow? The answer to that is that we are not in our right minds, so. Yeah, we went for the aesthetic instead of the, uh, <laughs> saving my toes, so. We were so frozen on the way in, just, like, carrying, uh, McDonald's in, in, like, big coats and struggling with these sandals. Also day two of eating McDonald's for our meals. <laughs> so we've survived two days in McDonald's in a row because we're cheap bastards. I mean, literally everyone at this con just goes to McDonald's and brings it back. I swear to God, the artist alley just smells like french fries. It's just like, that's it. I don't even know. I mean, there's food in the hotel, but it's so expensive because, you know, it's hotel food. So everyone just goes and gets like happy meals and like the dollar menu items. But anyway, happy meals yeah. I think today, well, I don't remember what else, there's Anime Jeopardy later in the evening, so we want to go to that. And, yeah, take some photos of our cute outfit, not outside, because it's snowing, so sorry about that, even though we took cool Yu-Gi-Oh photos outside yesterday. But we'll figure that out, and we'll see you around.
around the wind tunnel. Sorry, come to Granny Geo just a while. This idiot went down the escalator. <laughs> Not just gonna come back up. <laughs> What's the weather like down there? <laughs> Wind tunnel. <laughs> quality meme. You're an idiot. I'm quality meme. Quality meme. My eyes are watering. <laughs> That's because I'm so funny. <laughs> Way to go, brilliance. I went down the wrong escalator. Yeah. Escalator? Es escalator. Escalator. We're uh, going to hunt down this Kagome, but she might have already left, so. I told you to chase her down. You had one job. <laughs> She's right there. Relax. Chillax. Also, you had also had one job. If you didn't go down the escalator, we could have just kept walking. Hey. I don't know what she's doing. Doing some Jotaro poses while not as Jotaro. We're back as Bakura and Kaiba. Guess who's back? Back again. Um, we weren't gonna do anything on Sunday, but then what do you know? We ran into a very cute Mokuba on Friday who uh, was doing Yu Gi today and was like, Can you, Are you gonna be Yu Gi Oh for the rest of the weekend? And we weren't, but spoiler, we, it's, it's easy and <laughs> that it's warm, changed up. So yeah, it's fine. so since it's still very cold and these guys have coats and sweaters going on, it was fine. Um, we thought we'd fill you in on the rest of yesterday since we were just tired yesterday and snow and sandals and it was a disaster. So, um, but after our silly escalator incident, or I guess it was before the silly ex escalator clip, um, we went to the Quiz Bowl, yes. which was sort of like an anime trivia Jeopardy kind of game, but without like Jeopardy effects. And it was really low key. There weren't too many people there, which I actually liked a lot. Um, the people leading it were a lot of fun. Yeah, the people leading it had a good sense of humor, and I didn't know a lot of the questions. I actually competed for one of the rounds because they sort of ran out of people who volunteered. And um, one of the categories was take a ride on this rod. Funny story. 
um, which was all about magical boys. And I was so ready for my Merrick Ishtar question, let me tell you, like so ready. Alas. <laughs> um, yeah, and alas, there was no Merrick Ishtar question, but there was a Yu-Gi-Oh question. The very first question. The very first question, which I buzzed in before the bell rang, so I almost didn't even get right. it. Like, you can't answer if you buzz in early, yeah. and this genius but, but. knew that after watching two other rounds of people go. And then as soon as the picture of Yami came up, it was biz, and yeah. I was like, oh, literally the buzz, and I was like, I knew it was her. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't control myself, but they let me answer anyway. Because nobody else had a guess. Right, so, so nobody else knew, um, but it was just, the answer was Dark Magician because he holds a rod. I still think they missed a prime opportunity for Merrick there, but I mean, I'm not going to argue. Agree. They're obviously not Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, so. <laughs> they tried, and I got the Yu-Gi-Oh! question. I still lost the round, but that's what matters. Um, so I got that, and then the only other question I correctly answered was a Maggie question. So, but you know, I got some points, which some people didn't, so that's true. I don't feel that bad. She was at one point tied for the lead, so... One point early on, <laughs> and then it just sort of... But yeah, anyway, after that we just kind of fooled around a little bit. Um, we had some dinner, by which I mean expensive hotel food, not recommended. And no, we cheaped out and had I mean, yogurt in a sandwich. It was expensive it was yogurt cheap. though. It was. It was so it doesn't either. make it any less expensive. Just, but anyway, um, and then we went to Anime Jeopardy. So we just did a lot of back to back game shows. We just did a lot of trivia. But I mean, we, the Jeopardy was quality. It was like two hours. It was quality, of and there was another Yu-Gi-Oh question. So there was that helped. That is uh, high key as dark magician, but yeah. you know, whatever. And yeah, that was all. Then, then we, we went home. Well, we did a photo shoot. We did. A, we did. We ran into a Kagome and Inuyasha. I'll put the photo up here now. Maybe. Look at our gorgeous faces. Um, and they were both really sweet. And yeah, then we went home in the snow on the subway. So. In flip flops. In flip flops and sandals. Um, so yeah, that happened. And today, we're hopefully gonna hang out with our cute little Yugi, whose Instagram name I can't remember. Do you remember? No. Nope, I'll put it up here when we remember it. I never um, remember it. Because we just met her, but she's, she's the sweetest little thing, and we're gonna do a photo booth um, set of images with her. So they're gonna be super cute. And I don't know, maybe we'll do the AMV contest? Probably. Uh, probably, or Depends closing ceremony? Finish. Yeah. And Megan bought one more thing in the dealer's hall already, so. Well, you know. But anyway, we'll see you later. Okay.
a wreath in the lobby until just now. Yeah, by just the way, now. the con was themed Christmas in Japan, so that's why there's like. Unfortunately, stuff. we missed like all the Christmas in Japan panels because we went to the mall and whatnot. But um, a whole bunch of people were doing Christmas themed cosplays, and it was just really quietly decorated. Quietly. Quietly. Adjective. I mean, I think they already know that I can't talk. Well, but anyway, yeah. it's the end of Sunday. It's ending pretty early at like 3, which we didn't expect because, you know, Oda ends at like 4 or 5. It starts to wind down around 4 and then it's really done around 5. So we weren't expecting it to just kind of like flat, flatten. Um, but yeah, we met so many cute people. Um, this was actually a really fun con for meeting people. I think I added like 10 people on yeah. Instagram. We did find the Yugi again. We did. And we she's did very cute. So Really cute photo booth pictures. Yes. Check out Insta. Check out our Instagrams in the description below. Um, yeah, and so we're going to go ahead and head home now, and we'll do a mini haul there. Because it's very small. Because it is very mini. It's minuscule. In fact, everything we bought is mini. So yes, we did not buy anything. It's mini squared. So we're going to get back on the metro. And we're, and we're going to go. Yeah. Get to get back on the metro with this fun, beautiful look. I definitely don't get any odd stairs or anything with these bat wings. I mean, people sure. look at both the most ridiculously. So anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna go. So see you soon. See ya. It's kind of the bore. I was more intimidated by those guys from season four. Hey, you guys. We made it back from the con alive. On planes, trains, and automobiles. Except not planes, so only trains and automobiles. Yes. So, but we did make it back alive. Um, and wig in perfect shape. Got plenty of strange looks. Um, so solid. Yeah. Um, and we were going to do our short little haul. Um, we're not going to make a whole video for this one because it's so tiny. Yeah, it's not this, big. Con was tiny, so just go ahead and jump right in. Let's start with best boy. So at Fanime, there had been this keychain of Bakura that I looked at, and I was like, I need that. And then, but it was like twenty five dollars, and I couldn't bring myself to spend twenty five dollars on a keychain. But then I saw a very similar one here at um, Anime USA, and this is actually from Dark Side of Dimension, so it's Rio. It's not like actually possessed Beef King Bakura. Um, but I saw him, and this time I was like, no, 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 I'm not, oh, and then I didn't finish that story, but someone bought him, and then I couldn't buy the one at Fanime. So this time, I was like, nope, um, I'm getting it right now, immediately, so. I, that was my first purchase of the con, like, 30 minutes into the convention. She almost like, missed him, though. My little boy. Yeah, Megan actually found him. He was right in front of her face. Because uh, he was, like, mixed in with a bunch of idol girls, and, like. And Kaiba and, and Yugi. <laughs> so, actually, I never went back for Kaiba, so, oh well, but. Best Boy. So that was my first purchase of the con and also the best purchase of the con. So if you watched our NYCC haul, um, you would have seen that I got the little... Which hasn't been uploaded. Yet, so. No, but it will be by the time this is uploaded. Yeah. I got a little Yugi um, keychain with Karibo and he's in my Eater bag right now. And so from the same set as that, I found Kaiba. Here he is, second best boy with his uh, little dual disc that isn't painted correctly, but you know what, it's okay because he's rocking the look. They tried. <laughs> and he's teeny and he's, he's, he's smiley. Can we appreciate Smiley Kaiba? Because how often you get a Smiley Kaiba, eh? Hey? I mean, yeah. So that, that was my second purchase. And then the last thing I bought was if you guys watched our Otakon hauls, I buy a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh crap because <laughs> it's in every haul from everything I go to. But if you watched our, actually we would have been in the Otakon vlog, or I guess it was also in the haul, but anyway, we all pulled, uh, me, Megan, and James, um, our Odeon, pulled uh, mystery boxes with the Yu-Gi-Oh rivals in them. So yeah, Megan's got uh, Jack right there who I actually pulled and gave to her and then James pulled Kite from um, Zexel, and uh, Megan pulled the Arc 5 guy, whose His name, name I don't know because neither of us have yet seen. Or something. Yeah, and then I went back and I pulled another box because I was like, whoa, all that's left is Kaiba, um, 
the other Zexel guy and Chaz. Chaz, so odds are in my favor, and I did pull Chaz, who is one of my favorite rivals. So, so I saw this, which is the equivalent. Did Megan show you her? She all she has you say. So she she's actually opened her. one of these boxes before. This is the protagonist set instead of the rival set. And you can see on the back, it's got both Yami and Yugi, and it's got Jaden from GX, Yusei, <laughs> Jaden from GX, um, uh, Yusei, Yuma, and Yuya from Arc 5, not V, because I've learned that it's Arc 5. So, a real Yu Gi Oh fan now. Um, but anyway, I figured I might as well. There was one left, and it felt like a good day. It was a good day, it was a good con. I was like, you know what? I love most of the boys except for Yuma. I'm so sorry, Yuma. I just don't like you. But I figured five, like five out of six, yeah. So, oh, he's not in here because I took him out already. We're not prepared. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, and I pulled Jaden, who is not my favorite character, but but I have Chaz. So I'm actually fairly happy because now I have the matching set of GX characters. He actually looks pretty sweet. And he actually, yeah, I actually very much enjoy the art. And I'm not gonna pull Chaz because he's in my Ida bag, but Jaden is uh, like all red all over his card, and Chaz is equivalent all blue. So I think they'll look really nice. I have a black Ida bag, um, so they'll both like stand out really nicely with the contrast contrasting colors. So those were my three purchases: all Yu-Gi-Oh, all keychain nonsense that will go in my Ida bag. <laughs> And I actually didn't buy any Yu-Gi-Oh merch. Believe it. Believe it. That was a spoiler. That's a spoiler. <laughs> like, what I did buy. So I guess well, I'll start with the one thing that's like not. Yeah. So I, I mean, if you watched our NYCC video, you know we love Shaoran. So hey, solid. Um, and there was a booth in the Artist Alley that was selling all of like the magical tools for magical girls, and I went ahead and got my little boy. His sword and the little bell that Sharon has in Card Captor Sakura. So he's not Tsubasa Sharon, but actually the sword is in Tsubasa. So. It, yeah, but it's Card Captor. Yeah, it's from Card Captor though. So it's Sharon's sword. And so we can represent the best boy from that show. And I guess as buttons go, this is when I delved back into Naruto. So you can believe it that I did buy more Naruto merch at this con again than I ever will. It is the, I don't even know. Are you, are you trying doing to be the a fireball? <laughs> so speaking of fireball jutsus, um, one of the buttons I bought is a Sasuke, and he's got his Amaretsu. I think he means Sasuke. Sasuke. But um, he's got the um, his Sharingan is the infinite Sharingan. So the Nangekyo. I can't see it because it's blurry, but believe it, it's the. <laughs> believe it. And it's cute. It's got the little Uchiha fan in the back. And then from the same artist, I also bought a Kakashi pin, and he's got the little dog and his little porno book. So, solid. also solid, cute purchase. And of course, I had to represent with my boy, Minato. So, he's so cute. Minato is her best boy. So. He's my best Naruto boy. And he's just so precious. I think that says fourth Hokage, but I don't really You're know. You're looking at me like I know Japanese. Mm, I'm just looking at, yes. yeah. So, so those are the buttons I bought this time. And then continuing my Naruto purchases, I actually- I mean, I was no better than you with Yu-Gi-Oh, so yeah. I really can't. I also decided to do a blind box. So this one is the Naruto Shippuden little blind box. And it's cool because it's got each character, has like a little block, little box. And it's like really detailed. So you've got all the little different characters. And they're like pins. They're like, yeah. like Which, acrylic badges sort so of. So they're really cool. And I honestly didn't feel like there were any bad choices in this box, so we went for it. And I gotta represent more of my Uchiha's, so I ended up pulling Itachi. And Solid. I think this box knew what was gonna happen at Katsu, <laughs> Yeah, it's so a preview. It's a preview. If you were wondering about our con lineup for Katsu hey, coming up. Based on that, I should have pulled because I would have gotten Daydara. <laughs> but... So there's a little inside there. And then my last Naruto thing was another Minato purchase. Because this, he's so this little strap, a cute little rubber and strap. And he's just so happy. He's got his kunai, and he's got his little outfit and his Hokage jacket. So I thought he was a, you know, good purchase to add to my Ida bag. And then the last thing I bought is from a show that only I've watched out of our group. No um, idea. And I can't pronounce it to save the life of me, but it's spelled like Hakugi, 
I can type it out. Maybe James can like put up the title or something. Right here. It's like a three part anime and it's about um, a battle that happens actually in history and the characters are based off of historical figures from Japanese history. Um, and I have to figure out how to pronounce it. Oh, um, the guy that I pulled is one of my favorite guys. He's not my favorite because it's basically like an otome game. They turn historical figures into otome boys. <laughs> Um, and the character I pulled, or I picked was Sinpachi, who's one of the guys that is part of the army. And I thought it was so pretty because it's got the cherry blossoms, and that's like a huge part of the show is the cherry blossom symbolism. So I was happy with that one. There were other options, but there were only like three cherry blossoms, so I went with one of them with the cherry blossoms. I think those were cute. He's one of the best boys from that show, so... Sometimes you gotta go with the second best boy. You can't always get your first. I.e. I mean. Anywho, so that was Anime USA, and it was okay. it was actually a really quality con. We met a lot of nice, we met nice so many people. people. Yu-Gi-Oh, Inuyasha, across the board, nice people. And I I would go back. Like it was small, but it was like really close knit, um, and I really, really enjoyed that. So, so uh, hopefully we'll be back next year. And now, but for now we are on hiatus until February. So yeah, we'll catch you with Katsu. So see you guys then! Yeah!